Welcome, chatters. I'm back here again with Roche, our chief of operations, a wonderful automation engineer as well. And today I'm going to work with him to show you all how I've set up an automation to take notes coming in from the transcription of Google Meets and getting it into my Obsidian folder, both the entire transcript as well as the meeting notes and any to-dos relevant to me from those meeting notes. We're going to go through the automation first. I'm going to show you how it works, and then we're going to have you share your screen, Roche, and you're going to set one up for yourself. Because this is Are you going to give me a blueprint? <laughs> yeah, I can give you a blueprint, but I also want you to try to set it up so that you can figure it out the hard way. First of all, we're in make.com, and we've created a scenario here. If you just go to this little button here, you have your scenarios, you'll do create a new scenario. Obviously, I already have it created. We're going to go to edit. So let's walk through what this is doing just on the conceptual level, and then I'll go into module by module. So first is we have this module, which is a watch for, for documents. This is so that in the folder where all of the transcripts are going to come in, automatically that this is set up through Google transcript. It's just going to save somewhere. You just have to hook this up to that. So it's my drive meeting recordings. And whenever a new file gets in there, that's the trigger to start the rest of this jazz. Next is you need a Google doc get, I should probably zoom in a little bit, get content of a document. So the idea here is it comes in and you buy the document idea to just want to extract all the text that is in that document. So we route the text itself, we create a file from that text, and then we upload that file into our Google Drive where our, our vault is saved in Obsidian, so it gets in there. One important thing you're going to have to do is the file type. So you can call it whatever you want, we'll get to in a second, but you just have to make sure that the extension ends in .md because that's how Obsidian reads the files. Okay. So okay, do, next. Does, it, does it have to go through Google Drive? So technically you would need me to actually put the whole vault on the Google Drive. Correct. You would want to put the whole vault in your sort of personal Google Drive or, or the company Google Drive, but your personal folder in the company Google Drive because there's no way to access it like directly on your local machine, if that makes sense. Uh -huh. So we would also need to switch from the previous video, we would just switch from F Drive to the Google Drive, correct? Whole yes. Obsidian. Again, this is only if you want to set up this sort of automation, you're going to need your vault in some sort of cloud drive. Okay. Okay, so now we have the full transcript, but really what we want and what we'll use most frequently is some sort of summary. summary. We feed the full transcript through ChatGPT, so we have this module here. I'm using the latest version, which is Turbo because there's a nice long context limit. It's pretty good at this kind of stuff. And so I just have a prompt in here, which I'm happy to share. Essentially, it's really good at taking notes, analyze the transcript and find things that are most relevant to me, extract those key points, identify action items. This is important is we want it to tag the person and then format it in a way that Obsidian is going to add it to our task list using whatever that plugin is. So you want it to create the checkbox and end with hashtag to do or whatever you have set up in your task list as that tag to mark it as a to do item. And I end just with a couple things just for organization is to begin every output with the document ID in backlinks. I'll explain that in a second. And then the the date in backlinks. This is uh, important because so you can actually click on the actual transcript, correct? You're yeah. skipping ahead. Yes. This will connect it or create a backlink to your daily note. And then this will create a backlink to easily get to the transcript. Like you said, you just need to make sure that what you're naming the transcript in this case, I have it as document ID is consistent. Okay. So then that's going to run the full transcript through there. And then same idea, we're creating that file from that text that comes and then we're uploading that file to the appropriate folder in your obsidian vault. And the last thing we have here is just moving to the outbox, essentially. Just again, so we don't 
double up or get confused. It's just going to move whenever it completes something at the end to our outbox so that things don't get super cluttered. So I'm going to pause there before we run it. Do you have any like questions or thoughts, Rush? So on the Google Google Drive that you run on your Explorer, uh, you can run different accounts because all my transcripts are in SyntMinds, but I would like my Obsidian brain to be in my personal account. Yeah, and that is totally fine to do. I'm going to just run an example of okay. this so people can see it. We have this meeting from yesterday that we did. I'm just going to make a copy so it sees it as new. And we're going to put it in the meeting recordings folder. So this is important because the way this works is that it's only going to recognize a file if it's newly added. So everything I have in there isn't going to work, but we'll just run it now and hopefully it works. So you'll see it's, it found the new document, turned it into text. Now it's turning into a file to go into the Obsidian Vault for the full transcript. It's running the uh, ChatGPT prompt to get the bullet points and whatnot. Yeah, I would need probably not only focused on me, I would need the whole summary. Exactly. So the one thing you're going to have to play around with, I'll provide the prompt that I have because for the most part, it's going to work for you, but you're going to want to replace my name with your name or the names of the people that you have to follow up with the to-do items. It's good. Uh, slow this turbo. One. Yeah, but the, 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 that depends on the side of the uh, size of the transcript. Yeah, so it was an hour-long conversation, so it's going to be pretty long. Note that this is going to cost you money, too. It's going to be pennies. It's not going to be a lot, but just so you're going to need to have an account. So finished up, it has everything. We're just going to go into here to make sure we have the copy there, and it should have... Yep, it, yeah. it put everything in here. So now let's go to my Obsidian Vault. And I save everything in meeting notes here. These are the notes themselves. This is the copy. Oh, it's still uploading it, so we're going to give it a minute. But if we go to the tra transcripts, I wonder if this is... Oh. Is there not, not a better way to actually name these? There probably is. There's definitely ways generally to make this better, but this is what I have for now. Yeah, it's still it's still loading this conversation, so we'll give it a minute. There, there it is. So here we can this will bring us to the transcript itself. Okay. And then we have me tagging everything and everybody else. And then we have oh my god, did I really have this many action items for this actually gave action items for, for, for everybody. everybody, so it screwed up a little bit. Which is um, fine. I, I I want that, which is fine. Yeah, uh, but you can just be very clear about saying, hey, only do the action items for this person. So this is amazing. You can actually hashtag me and see what's what's mentioning me. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then the idea, I, I wonder why it's not doing it. This is a little annoying. It should be adding them to my task list. I wonder if I just need to get get out and get back in. Here we go. Yeah. So I just needed to update. I just needed to X out and come back in. But uh -huh. see. So this is your to-do list for today. All right. Well, this is just the to-do list from this meeting, which is nice. It has where did all these to-dos come from. Okay. And you can query your professor to ask, hey, what did I do? Yeah, if you do. want, and then when you knock something off of here, it's actually just go down. Too so much. when I click it on or off in here, it adds it or takes it off on the main task list too. So it's all connected. 